Hey guys, and CS Fan 001 here. Welcome you to the road, or somewhat road, to my 161st platinum trophy. So, uh, this is a very special platinum because, well, for two reasons. For one, it was on my birthday, and it was actually the second platinum on my 21st birthday. So, not just is it the first birthday I've ever gotten a platinum trophy on, but I've gotten two today, which is kind of awesome. It's now like 10.30 at night, and I have, I'm have i pretty tired because I've drank quite a bit today. We'll say it that way, because I'm now legal to do so. Anyway, my 161st Platinum was also my very first PS Vita Platinum. Now, I've had other games that were uh, cross-saved or, or shared trophy lists between PS4 and PS Vita or PS3 and PS Vita, but this is the first PS Vita game that I've actually played because I got a Vita for my birthday. So, this game was, of course, Sound Shapes, the PS Vita version, so... Sound Shapes, for those of you guys who are sort of maybe newer to trophy hunting, it was a major game back in, like, I think it came out in 2012, and then it was going through late 2014 as one of the most, like, well-known trophy hunting games. The reason being just the number of trophies within the game. If we back out here, it has one platinum, one gold, 87 silvers. So that's what's crazy about it, and most of those silvers come from the DLCs, but also the main game. There's no bronzes and only one gold total. But every DLC is related to Beat School, which is a very easy mode because you can just look up a guide for each level and finish each DLC in about five minutes, which is really, really nice. The actual game itself, the Beat School, is just as easy, and the campaign takes about two hours. It's pretty easy. Uh, the only hard part of platinuming this game is death mode, because some of the death mode levels are absolute, uh, just absolutely crazy to try to finish, because half the time it doesn't even give you a possible layout to finish it on. So it's very annoying, but just keep at it, and you'll eventually get a lucky run of each level, and you'll eventually manage to get it. So it's not the hardest platinum in the world, but it's definitely a frustrating one. So now, in this case, I got this one through cloud syncing because that's what's the beauty of this game is that you can cloud sync it after you platinum it once and then you can get the platinum for all five other versions, which is awesome. So you only need to really platinum it once and you get six total platinums out of it. I still need to do the three uh, different uh, like regional versions. I'm probably going to do the European one myself. I might try to find someone. I might get a uh, corn dog to sync the other ones for me or something because I know that he at least uh, used to do that. Anyway, so that was my 161st Platinum, my first PS Vita Platinum. For now, I don't have a way to actually record on the PS Vita, but if I can figure out a way to do so, I will definitely, you know, catch the recordings while that's happening. And I think I can probably figure out a way to do it. There's probably some way to configure the Elgato to do it, or maybe there's some kind of service I can use to stream it or whatever. So, at the same time, I'm currently working on Day of the Tentacle Remastered, uh, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just finished it, but... uh Still haven't quite 100%ed it because the DLCs haven't come out yet. And then also did Abs Animals and about to get started on Minecraft Vita Edition. So with that, uh, 8,667 8, 8, total trophies, level 38, 14%, 161 platinums, 806 golds, 2,163 silvers, 5,537 bronzes. My next platinum will be Day of the Tentacle Remastered. It may be the first time I get three platinums in one day, but I kind of doubt it because I think I'm still a couple hours away from finishing it. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you for the next one.